we've just added a new feature called Persistent Context Storage to FlowForge. In this video, we wanted to show you how we can make using Node-RED in FlowForge even better. Node-RED lets you store information that can be shared between different nodes without passing messages through your flows. This is called Context. You can now store context in persistent storage so that your values are still available after you restart your project. In this demonstration, we are going to show you how you can use persistent context in your flows. OK, let's get started. Firstly, we need to create a flow which writes the value hello world to global.example. We need to remember to select persistent storage from the drop down menu. We are also going to add a flow which can read the stored value from the persistent context and output it to the debug. OK. So to check it's working, we need to click the inject node to set the context, then click the second inject node to output the value to the debug. We can see that the value has been recalled from global.example correctly. Now let's see if it still works after restarting the project. Let's jump into Flowforge to do that. OK, so switching back to Node-RED, when we run the second flow, the value hello world is still stored. It worked. The context global.example is still available to our flows, even after a restart. We hope this video helped you understand how persistent context storage can make Node-RED in Flowforge even more useful. Thanks for watching.